This video is an overview of how to test camshaft position sensor on a 2001 to 2005 BMW 3 Series with an M54 engine. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well ventilated area and protect yourself from injury at all times. Before beginning, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. We're going to focus on a car that had fault codes for the exhaust camshaft position sensor. The testing techniques shown in this video can be applied to the intake camshaft position sensor also. The service engine soon light or MIL is on indicating a fault code in the engine control module or ECM. Using a BMW scan tool to read the ECM fault memory reveals BMW fault codes 018 or a generic fault code of P0369. Both fault codes indicate a malfunction with the exhaust camshaft position sensor. A quick way to check if the sensor is currently malfunctioning is to use a BMW scan tool and view live data for Vanos or camshaft position. With the vehicle in park, wheels blocked, and working in a well-ventilated area, raise engine RPM. While you're doing this, the camshaft angle should change. You can see on our car it doesn't because the fault is currently stored. Keep in mind that there are other faults that would cause the Vanos not to actuate and the camshaft angle not to change, but in this case we had a camshaft sensor code, so I'm pretty comfortable with what we're seeing. Instead of testing the bad sensor and generating a bunch of data you can't use, I'm going to show you what the tests look like on a functioning sensor and how to confirm that it is working properly. Back to our quick test, this is a car with a functioning sensor. You can see as I raise and lower the engine RPM, the camshaft angle is changing. The remainder of our testing is going to be performed at the exhaust camshaft position sensor. The exhaust camshaft position sensor is located on the right front of the cylinder head, indicated by arrow. Disconnect camshaft position sensor electrical connector. The exhaust camshaft position sensor electrical connector has three terminals. With the sealing boot peeled back, I can identify the wires using a wiring diagram. Pin 1 has a red wire with a white stripe, that's our sensor supply voltage. Pin 2 is a yellow wire, which is our reference voltage, and our signal wire. Pin 3 is a brown wire, that's our sensor ground. Keep in mind that the wiring colors and pin assignments can vary dependent on model, so confirm your model against a current wiring diagram. With the key on and engine off, we're going to test that all the correct voltages are being supplied to the electrical connector. Using a digital multimeter on DC volts, the black lead is connected to battery negative and the red lead is going to be used to probe each connector terminal. Starting at pin 1, red wire with white stripe, we have battery volts, that's our sensor supply voltage. Pin 2, or the yellow wire, we have 5 volts. That's our reference voltage for the camshaft sensor signal. Pin 3, the brown wire, is our sensor ground, and we have 0 volts. All the terminals have the correct voltages, and they're within spec, so let's move on and do some testing at the component level. Reconnect the exhaust camshaft position sensor electrical connector. Peel back the sealing boot and insert a back probe into terminal 2, the yellow wire. Connect the black lead of your digital multimeter to battery negative. Connect the red lead of your digital multimeter to the back probe. For this part you're going to need an assistant to rotate the engine over by hand and you're going to monitor the sensor signal for voltage change. With your digital multimeter on DC volts, have your assistant Rotate the engine over by hand using a large ratchet while you monitor the digital multimeter for voltage fluctuation. What you should expect to see is the signal 
voltage change from 5 volts to 0 volts two times per crankshaft revolution, as shown here on my digital multimeter. So everybody doesn't have an assistant and we're a lot of times working by ourselves. So there's another way we could do this. Remove the exhaust camshaft position sensor from the cylinder head. Reconnect the electrical connector. Hook up your digital multimeter like I said earlier for the test when we're rotating it by hand. And then take a wrench, one made of good quality, not chrome vanadium, and move it back and forth in front of the sensor. Doing this will create a magnetic field and the sensor will do the same as it does when it switches low to high while rotating the engine by hand. Thanks for watching. Next time you're faced with a camshaft position sensor fault code, you'll be better prepared to properly diagnose it. Feedback or questions? Visit our online tech forums or our online technical library at bentleypublishers.com.